What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to expand our vocabulary by learning 18 synonyms for the verb to make worse. Are you ready? If so, grab your vocabulary notebook and let's kick off. So let's get started. First, we're going to learn nine verbs. And then in the second part of the lesson, we're going to look at nine idioms. The first verb on my list today is to aggravate, which means to make a situation worse. One simple sentence, the new law only aggravated the general discontent. Let's move on to our second verb, to compound. It's often used in the passive voice. For example, the misery of losing his job was compounded when he was evicted from his apartment later the same week. Now let's move on to the third verb, to deteriorate. For example, sadly, his health has deteriorated over the past year. Number four, to escalate. It means to become greater, worse, or more serious. For example, the leak of confidential information may escalate into an international conflict. Number five, to exacerbate. This formal verb is great to be used in writing. For example, the government's lack of action only exacerbated the problem that eventually erupted into a riot. Number six, to inflame. It means to cause strong feelings such as anger or jealousy. For example, his rudeness only inflamed my anger. Number seven, to make things worse. Or we can also say to make matters worse. For example, to make things worse, he didn't apologize for his slip up. Number eight, to take a hit. For example, your health is likely to take a hit if you don't get enough sleep. And the last verb for today, to worsen. For example, his refusal to cover my shift worsened our working relationship. And guys, before we continue, just a super quick reminder, please make sure that you're subscribed to English Bits if you like my channel and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue with the lesson. We're going to learn nine idioms. I love idioms. Number 10, to add fuel to the fire. For example, please don't add fuel to the fire and mind your own business. Number 11, a very similar idiom, to add insult to injury. Let's put it into a simple sentence. His words added insult to injury, and they ended up having a huge row. And here I got a bonus example from the song Exile by Taylor Swift. And she sings, those eyes add insult to injury. Number 12, to come to a head. It means that a problem suddenly becomes worse and has to be dealt with quickly. For example, the economic crisis came to a head and urgent measures must be taken. Let's continue. Number 13, to fan the flames. For example, his lack of tact to handle this delicate situation is bound to fan the flames. Number 14, I like this idiom very much, to go downhill. For example, after his divorce, things started to go downhill. 
Number 15, very similar to the previous one, all downhill from here or from there. There is a difference. We use here when we talk about a present situation and there when we refer to the past. Let's look at one example using here. We've lost the most important client. It's all downhill from here. And one example with there talking about the past situation. She stopped doing sports and started overeating. It was all downhill from there. Just a little note here, this idiom can also mean to get easier. For example, we've just finished the most difficult part of the project. It's all downhill from here, which means that it'll get easier. Number 16, we've got an American idiom to go south. One simple sentence, when their child came along, their relationship began to go south. Two more to go, number 17, to rub salt in or into the wound. For example, he took credit for the work we did together and to rub salt into the wound, he was offered a promotion. And last but not least, to twist or to turn the knife, and we can add in the wound. And the last simple sentence for today, more guts to the health service will twist the knife in the wound. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this video up to the very end. I really hope you enjoyed it and found it useful. And if there are more synonyms that I haven't mentioned, in this video, please let me know in the comments below. And of course, if you learned something new, please don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to English Bits and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. Thank you for having watched this lesson and see you next Sunday. Ciao for now!